Let's do some typical examples uh, about parametric equations. So we already saw this parametric equation, this curve, c of t is 2t minus 4, 3 plus t squared, in the previous video. Uh, as it turns out, we can actually rewrite it in the form y is equal to f of x. So how are we going to do that? We want to write y as a function of x, but right now we have y is 3 plus t squared, x is 2t minus 4. We want to write y as a function of x. How do we accomplish that? We accomplish that by writing x, uh, so, sorry, writing t in terms of x. So right now we have x in terms of t. If we invert this so t is in terms of x, then we can plop that in for uh, t up here for y. So, so how do we accomplish that? Uh, x is equal to 2t minus 4. I guess I'm just recopying it. Let's add 4 to both sides. And let's divide by 2. So t is equal to x plus 4 uh, divided by 2. And so now we're going to take that and substitute that in up here. So y is equal to 3 plus x plus 4 over 2 squared. And if we want to simplify that, this ends up as 1 quarter x squared plus 2x plus 7. So really, this parametric curve here is tracing out the same curve that would be traced out by the function y is equal to a quarter x squared plus 2x plus 7. Um, Here's another calculation we can do. My rocket follows the trajectory C of t is 80t, uh, comma 200t minus 4.9t squared. And so this traces out some kind of parabola. And so we're going to have two, two things to figure out. One thing is what's the height at t is equal to 5? And one is what's the maximum height? Okay, so... Which one here for the height, this is giving us, this is giving us the height. So y of t is 200 t minus 4.9 t squared. So we want to know the height at t is equal to 5. The answer to this question is just y of 5. So 200 times 5 minus 4.9 times 5 squared, and that is 877.5. Um, I'm stealing this problem from a textbook. Everything is in terms of t is in second. The heights, the distance are in terms of meters. Okay, so for maximum height, this is just a Calc 1 problem. We want to, uh, we want to maximize this as a function of t. It's a downward opening parabola. It's only going to have one critical point, and the max will happen at that critical point. So y prime of t is 200 minus 9.8t. We want to set this equal to 0 and solve. And crunching this out, t is 200 over 9.8, which is about 20.4 seconds. So here was t is equal to 5. Its maximum height happens at uh, 20.4 seconds or so. And for, we weren't asked, this is the time at which the maximum height occurs. So there's one more thing we have to do here, which is for the maximum height, this is y of 200 divided by 9.8 which when you plop that in, you get about 2,041 meters. So those are a couple of typical problems.